Hey there, my name is Promise. Welcome back to more Kingdoms Reborn, still playing as the Emirates, and we are doing gloriously nowadays. I built up a mosque, which gets me one of the first wonders in the game, so a bit of extra victory points for me. That'll be nice. Not like it really matters, but I mean, it's, it's kind of cool to do. And in the meantime, we have greatly increased a lot of our production of luxuries, especially in the tailoring department. We now have eight of these. I'm currently building out a bit more into the carpet weaving industry, and we are importing some grapes from some of our special resource harvesting colonies, so I'm getting some wineries set up as well. There are a few other things that we have neglected up to this point, though, and we don't necessarily have to work on these, but it would be good to do if we can. For example, we're currently importing a lot of iron ore. Rather than just go ahead and sell off all of that iron ore as free money, which we could do, but it just it takes up a lot of slots for our auto trading over here, we could start converting a lot of that into iron bars. As long as we have the labor for it, and we're adding value to whatever materials we are getting, it seems like it's an okay thing for me to do. So right now there's plenty of laborers. If I want to set up some iron Iron smelting, we can certainly do that. I also wouldn't mind expanding out a bit more in some things like bricks and maybe even move into glass, which will require things like sand mines. We don't have these going yet, but once I get gold smelting and stuff up and running, that would certainly be an option for us. We also have the option to start setting up some colonies, and I might do that this video, I might not. It does take a lot of extra micromanagement, but the thing is, now that I'm kind of like honing in on only like three luxuries per uh, tier, I don't really know if we gain a lot from going for the extra colonization effort. I mean, it takes a fair bit of work of managing uh, resources back and forth in order to make sure that those colonies are going to be fine. But if we don't need more luxuries in order to keep upgrading my houses and I don't need more money, because Lord knows I don't, well, then what exactly is the point? Mostly just be cool, I guess. So I don't know. We'll do it at some point. It's just not a high priority. We did just learn how to make a theater, which would be nice. So this increases uh, fun for everyone around it. Not that we really need additional happiness, but I mean, it's not a bad thing to have extra, right? What does hotels do? Allow visitors from other towns to stay for gold. This, I think, is new as well. Huh. Um, it has an upkeep of 50, so somehow it's going to have to pay for itself. does take some glass and some bricks. We'll try this out at some point, if nothing else, then because it's new and that's exciting. Uh, but let's go ahead and stick with our plan, work toward things like sand mining, and learn how to do that. In the meantime, let's also buy out a theater, which is going to be making all these people happy off in this direction. Yeah, it doesn't seem like a very high priority, does it? Um, I mean, happiness is nice and all, but I also think it's grossly overrated, so... I'm just kidding. I'm saying I'm slightly uh, I'm slightly bringing in my own personal problems into this. Let's go ahead and place one right down here. Might as well. We're going to continue building out houses in this general area anyway. And then just for posterity, since we can fit it, let's go ahead and toss in a quick warehouse here. Maybe even another one here. Then build out some roads kind of like this. And there we go. All right. So this is just going to beautify the area up a little bit. We're kind of going a little bit ham on the shrubs. And it's kind of... Um, Hurting my uh, my space efficiency a little bit, but you gotta admit it looks pretty good. Ooh, there we go. First winery is up and running. All right, so 30 grapes make eight wine. We can boost up the speed for sure. Get some extra productivity, and all level five houses are going to increase productivity. We have a bunch of those, so that gets me an extra three right there. Plus, we'll have Wine Town by the time this is done, so we'll be able to get a little bit more productivity as well. So, yeah, um, a sustainability book would probably go a pretty long way to actually greatly increase value. Whenever you see a really large number like 33, I'm thinking that the 30% drop uh, from a sustainability book is usually going to be pretty good. Case in point, we can test this. The doink? Yeah, I just cut 10 off. So that's pretty darn good. Now, of course, obviously depends on the material we're in question, right? If it's really easy to produce massive amounts of it, well, then you don't really need to worry too much. But in this case... The only source of grapes I've got are coming from a single building on another area of the map, like on the opposite end of the world. So I figure anything to go ahead and boost up sustainability is probably going to be a pretty good deal for me. Now that I have access to quick build, by the way, I don't really see any reason not to do this. I mean, yeah, obviously it's supposed to cost you a pretty good amount of money, but like, why spend a lot of time with my laborers going around and constructing stuff when I can just spend my ridiculous amounts of income, just go ahead and set everything up instantly? I mean, that seems pretty good, am I wrong? 
All right, blacksmiths are finally up and running. We'll go ahead and boost up the forges. I'm not really sure why paper is so important, but there you go. Boost, 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 boost. There we go. We get more value. So eight iron bars becomes 23 iron tools. And using our bricks, we can boost up the iron smelter, of which I've run out of bricks, but that's fine. We can go ahead and buy a bunch more. So just like that, now we are taking all this iron ore we're producing, which is a pretty huge amount, and we're going to start turning that into tools that we know we're going to need. Now, I could just buy them, and that's what I've been doing up to this point. But since I've got an excess of labor, or at least I did have an excess of labor, eh, it doesn't seem like a terrible investment. But if we're ever worried about it, it's completely fine to say this is a low priority. We'll just buy what we need. We now have access to one of the most powerful tools we can get at this stage of the game, especially if you are super, super rich. And that is adjusting the budgets of all these different buildings. So now we can spend extra money to increase happiness and increase efficiency. And at least on some of these, that's going to be really, really good for us. So for example, I'm happily going to spend more money trying to boost up another 30 or so bread uh, with each of these bakeries. That is a definitely a worthwhile expenditure on my end. Probably should do the same thing for pretty much any luxury because uh, it'll easily pay for itself. Those little bit of extra luxury goods will make up whatever you've uh, spent in your budget. Super duper worthwhile. I like to make sure that we're producing plenty of tools. So we go ahead and boost things like that too. You get the idea. And in a little bit anyway, we're going to also be able to adjust the work schedule, which hopefully means we're going to be able to boost up productivity even more. Just for reference, by the way, let's note that my population has jumped up to about 400, which in and of itself is pretty impressive. I mean, we can take a look at the graph here. You can see I've been growing at an almost exponential rate and we're still alive, so that's working out. But the most important thing that I wanted to brag about is that we have slightly surpassed my neighbor, which means we have fully caught back up with the AI, and in fact, I'm starting to outperform them. So everything is going according to my glorious plan. There we go, the work schedule is now complete. Okay, so with that out of the way, what would be fun to do next? Weirdly enough, we probably don't need to do some of these upgrades for at least a while. Some wouldn't be bad, but it's not like we need it. So as far as tech is concerned, we could move on to something like the force, uh, the foreign investment. Yeah, that's okay though. Um, that just lets me get more uh, influence generation. I'd rather start going to things like the scholar's office so I can start crafting paper and then cards of my own. That's probably the better way to go, though getting into the paper industry might be a bit tricky as the Emirates, because remember, we're really bad at harvesting wood. So that's an industry we'll get into that's pretty much going to be a money sink, because we're going to have to import almost all of the wood in order to make that worthwhile. I can do that, it's just not optimal. Oh, right, and now we do have things like work hours. Okay, so increasing work hours now reduces some of that happiness that we just bought, but does boost up productivity by another 20%. Weirdly enough, I'm not positive that I need some of these, um, partly because I don't really want to drop happiness further, but also partly because I just don't think that some of these are things we need. Um, yeah, no, it's a way of saving ourselves some happiness and some money if we want to decrease some of the work, but uh, as a general rule, I don't know if I need to increase the work hours. If I find myself in a major bottleneck somewhere else, then maybe we will. But at least for the moment, I think we're good with what we've got. Now, let's suppose that I want to start making paper. Um, I believe this building, yeah, needs to be placed next to water. That greatly limits where I could work on this industry. We could try setting up way up over here. That's a little far away, though. Might be better to say, all right, time to build a new like residential area out over here and start placing down a bunch of paper mills over here and farming up coffee and roasting it and then sending it back into the mainland. Well, not the mainland, but the heart of the city in order to get as much value out of a luxury as possible. Yeah, that might be a way to go. We definitely want to be able to produce with our own paper. Like, no doubt about it. We want to make our own cards. It will make everything better because cards have been relatively hard to come by. So this is a necessity. We're going to go ahead and start by doing this. And then, yeah, let's go ahead and plan on getting a bunch of roads out over here, set up a new residential area, and farm the crud out of the coffee. Okay, so we're setting this area up over here. I am going to go for another forester and fruit gatherer combo, just because there's already a lot of jungle trees over here. And we want to have a local food source just in case things get crazy. Lots of farms we place down and at least a couple of paper makers. I'm now researching an indus uh, industrial adjacency, which would get me a 5% efficiency for every nearby industry of the same type. 
up to a maximum of 15%, but obviously that could be a 15% boost for things like my tailors or my carpet weavers, etc. So we definitely get some value out of that. I also just got budget adjustment, which should... No, not that one, sorry. Um, tax adjustment, there it is, from the town hall. Now, I don't remember what this does. Medium tax, low tax, we could go for a high tax. I'm guessing that's going to reduce happiness a fair bit or something. Um... It doesn't seem to make a huge difference. Uh, okay, no, we lose like a little bit of happiness. That doesn't seem too bad, and we get a lot more money out of it. Well, I'll keep an eye on this and make sure that this doesn't ruin anything, but um, having very high taxes might actually be completely fine here. Oh, we can finally get our first coffee roaster. Yum, this will be nice. Okay, uh, where do we want to set that up? Probably out over in this general area, a little bit further away from the housing, but still close enough to everything I want to do with the warehouses. So we'll set at least one of those up. Probably want to go ahead and get a second one right away. And I think for the sake of expediency, we'll just go ahead and do some quick build. And by the way, uh, the way quick build works is you spend money to go ahead and build it. But if you also don't have the resources on hand, I think it auto trades to uh, quickly buy them, hence the cost goes up as a result. So, it's actually a pretty good way of getting materials you need to build stuff without having to wait for a trade cycle, which is kind of nice. Uh, coffee appreciation. We have to spend 2,500 gold to make people appreciate coffee? Have you guys not tasted the dirty bean juice? This stuff's amazing, it stands on its own merit. Oh, fine, whatever, it's, so, it's, it's not a big deal. All right, so we're gonna end up having all this coffee. It's gonna take 34 raw coffee to make 54 regular coffee fully finished out. We'll distribute some of that naturally amongst the population. Then we're going to have the logistics office, which will be taking this coffee and sending it all the way down over here. Ah, here's something new. Spice farming. Cool. Um, let's see. Switch your farm's work mode to grow spices. Can we do this pretty much anywhere? Sure seems that way. So it looks like spices are another trade good. Brand new to this latest update. Do they count as, like, um, some sort of a luxury? Yeah, interesting. Okay, so this is a farmable tier 2 luxury just like the tulips. So if I'm understanding that correctly, like, that's really, really powerful. We just need to find a good farming spot, and we can make ourselves a ridiculous amount of level 2 luxuries. That's great. Let's go ahead and open up another industry over here, Glassworks. This is going to take some of the excess glass we've got, as well as our coal, and turn that into glassware, which is another luxury. Now, I am fully aware that I am trying to do a little bit too much all of a sudden, right? We're not really committing to one particular industry to the degree that I should be. Instead of going for glassware, I know it would be better to go for even more carpets, get this up to eight. But we also kind of have some glass smelters already built up and doing absolutely nothing right now. I kind of figure it'd be nice to at least do something new. But yeah, technically speaking, I shouldn't do this. I should just go ham on only a handful of resources. But you know what? When you're sitting on a million gold, I'm pretty sure you can just do whatever you want. And it really doesn't even matter. So yeah, get off my back. I do ever so slightly worry that my growth has gotten a little bit out of control. We're up to about 530 citizens now, which is uh, a lot faster than we have been. Actually, Uppsala has contracted. We're looking pretty good here at 530. This is all built up. We're doing a really good job in this direction, but here's the problem. Now we're starting to consume a load of food again, so I'm having to start importing more. And I'm starting to run out of trading slots, so we need to keep buying more trading companies just so I can continue uh, to import enough food to keep myself alive. Like This is only going to get more and more difficult at some point. We're just going to have to have so many trading centers that we can't really afford to have anything else. Or, of course, I can send some of my own people to go and start extracting resources, but as long as we have enough labor to do that, which I do, 56 spare laborers right now, that's fine. In fact, we definitely need to put them to work in some way. But at the same time, it's not the most effective thing to do. We don't like having to hunt for our own food. It's too inefficient. I should be going for even more luxuries, even though I'm already rolling in them. Good Lord. I don't know. We'll, we'll have to figure a lot of this stuff out, but I think we're probably in a good spot to end this particular video. Obviously, at some point, we're going to have to question ourselves, when do we want to stop this series, and do we want to just keep going indefinitely? I'm not saying that I'm done right now, for the record. I'm just saying we have to start thinking about that at some point. Um, I think we got at least a fair bit in us. I'd like to get further down into the tech tree at the very least. 
Let's go ahead and set up another one of these um, resource centers, by the way, and just go ahead and grab some more stuff. Why not? We'll just grab some more cannabis, get some more tier one luxuries, keep that all going. Immigrants for some productivity. Yes, please. And I will say it is nice having these scholars' offices producing some of these extra books. We're using that right now, but it takes a very long time for them to produce some of these books. So that's the only real downside of these suckers. It just takes a long, long, long time. But at least now we have a source. Just takes up right, uh, 100 paper per card and a very long period of time. But we'll start rolling in sustainability and productivity, which means I'll get even more efficient, which means everything just becomes that much stronger for me. I should also point out that I have researched some new units. We've got some cannons up and running. I should probably go ahead and turn off at least some of these immigration offices if I don't know more people. Uh, and we're actually also researching machine guns, which I'm assuming are going to replace the uh, archers. So we'll have musketeers, cannons, and machine guns. And with them, I'm curious to see if we can go ahead and start vassalizing some more people. Even if they're on the other side of the world. Who cares? Maybe we can go ahead and take them all out. Also, building a sultan's castle would be kind of fun. Let's just go ahead and start researching that as well. How much money do these guys cost? Yeah, they get rid of the archer. And they do take up quite a bit of population. The good news is I have an excess of population. So I guess I don't mind that too much. Let's spend a ton of money and a ton of pops. Get a huge army together and see if you can wreak a little bit of havoc. Thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If so, I would ask you to hit that like button, leave a comment, subscribe, hit that notify bell, and I will see you guys next time.